In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily synchronize your music with your slideshow thanks to our newest feature that allows you to see exactly where your song ends in your slideshow as well as how many times it's looping. So, as you can see, I already got started making my slideshow down here. I'm making a slideshow with a summer theme and I have quite a few photos in there, but I haven't added any music yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the music tab and get my Beach Boys song, which is pretty fitting for summer, and drag it on top of the first slide so it applies it to my entire slideshow. So as you can see, I now have this purple music bar that appeared underneath the film strip, which represents the song I just added. So if I scroll down the slideshow to the right, you'll see that it's on the entire slideshow, and there's this little tab right here that has a number one with a little loop icon. This means that the song ends exactly at this point, so on slide 14, since the tab's right there, uh, which means that if I want to add a second song, I could add it starting from slide 14 or 15. I'd probably go with 14 since it ends right at the beginning of the when the slide switches over. Um, so just to show you, if I move farther down to the right, you'll see that the song loops again a second time on slide 26 and we'll see if it loops a third time and it does at the very end so it's pretty perfect so this would mean if I were to leave just this one song on this slideshow this sl the song would replay three times in order to play through the amount of photos I have if I don't want that to happen then all I have to do is add some more music so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna choose uh, another song let's go to the new category I'll get this one from the Beastie Boys and since I want my first song to only play through once, I'm going to drag this and place it directly on top of slide number 14. And that way I know that my first song will end perfectly up until slide 13. Starting from 14, my next song will play through and I'll be able to see if it plays through all the way to the end, if it lasts long enough, or if it's um, shorter and then it ends up replaying. So as you can see, it is a little bit shorter. So my second song would end on slide 31. So if I don't want this song to repeat, then I'll just add a third song starting on slide 32. Um, so let me choose another one just to show. Um, we'll go with this one. I'll add it on to my slide 32. That way the second song, like I said, it'll end on slide 31. And starting on slide 32, I'll have my third song that will start playing up until the end of my slideshow. And there you go, that's how you can synchronize your music perfectly with your slideshow. And that's all there is to it. Bye!